Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this particular video, we are going to see how to become an entrepreneur scientist in biotechnology, the top 10 points that's necessary. So if you are a scientist and you are aspiring to be an entrepreneur or if you're even a student but your aspiration, your dream is to become a scientist entrepreneur in biotechnology, then this video is specially for you. So do watch it till the end. I'm Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So the first point that I have for discussion for all of you is to have a strong foundation, right? So a strong foundation in science and technology as well as in scientific knowledge. So obviously, if you are already a scientist, you will have the strong foundation that's required. If not, then you need to get a degree in the relevant field. So if you already have an idea and you want to pursue that idea, then you should have a degree in that particular field. It could be biochemistry, molecular biology, or even engineering depending on your field you need to get a relevant degree because without a strong foundation you cannot you know it wouldn't have a meaning for you to start um, being an entrepreneur right so that's the first point that I have for all of you the second is develop your business skills right especially if you are a scientist then you might not have much of a knowledge about the business side of how things work so yes you need to develop your business skills before you start to become an entrepreneur right so how do you develop your business skills once is you need to know the business principles and practices so you can get to know that by taking few courses in either business or finance and marketing so these are few fundamentals that is required Whenever uh, you know you start a business or you're being an entrepreneur, then you need to have fundamentals of all of these, and this will help in you know rounding out your skill set. So yes, you can go ahead and do courses in the business side of the skill set that might be lacking in you. Secondly, if you are not interested in doing a course or if you want to do something more exciting then you can gain the practical experience in the field right so how do you do that you can get internships you can take up internships and work closely with a company that is similar to yours so that you can see what you know how to run a company what are the the uh, no challenges that they face, how are they overcoming these challenges. You can also do that by talking to experts and people in the field already. You can also take few research positions if you want to get a more stronger foundation and more uh, knowledge about your field. So yes, a research position will help you in that way. Third is you can take up a small business or a side project by yourself. That is, if you're a student and you are aspiring to be an entrepreneur, then in your student life itself, you can take up a small project or a small business and see how you're dealing with that. How to see, you know, how to, how how are you tackling the small, small problems and how can you come out of it? So all of these you can learn if you're doing, you know, small business as a part of your, um, you know, coursework itself. So after the third point, the next that I have for all of you is the fourth point that's network with other professionals in the industry because your network is going to be your net worth as well, right? So first of all, what you need to do is how can you network? So network, why is it important? Because it helps you in having a great connection in your field especially and it helps in, uh, you know, how do you network is basically you form meaningful connections with the you know people that you already know in the industry and you form you know newer connections as well now how do you form newer connections that is you can attend conferences and then engage with people secondly you can join professional organizations that are relevant for your field or and 
by doing all of these you can see ta- seek out two mentors because mentors are very important when it comes to being an entrepreneur because you might be blindfolded about what mistakes you're making but a mentor is somebody who can guide you in the mistakes that you're making and how to become a successful entrepreneur right so that is the fourth point that i had for you the fifth point is to understand the regulatory environment because whenever you're doing a business then there are a lot of policy around uh, you know doing business in a particular country so you need to first understand the regulatory environment especially of biotechnology company operations that is happening in your country so once uh, you know you are able to understand the regulations that is the laws and the regulations then you will be in a better position to safeguard your company and to run your company as well so what are the different regulatory uh, things that you must know is say for example you have a product right how do you product by technological product then how do you safeguard it so you safeguard it by say patent protection protection or through intellectual property protection or the product safety so all of these regulations are what you need to know if you are going to start an entrepreneur if you're going to be an entrepreneur after the fifth point let's move on to the sixth point so the sixth point is to identify a specific area of focus now after you have the technical background and the business background and everything then you need to uh, identify a specific area that you want to focus in your field right so how do you do that so it could be a specific disease or a medical condition that you want to focus on or it could be a type of technology or a product that you've come up with. With, or it could be a specific market that you're targeting as well it could be either a product or a service that you're providing it could be anything but you need to have that focus in mind you need to first identify what will be your niche so that is more important so once you've identified what is it that you're going to focus on then you need to conduct a market research now what do we mean by market research is you need to know what the market needs and whether you are able to give it to the market or not so it could be either that you know you're trying to give a pleasure to the market so only then people or your clients or your customers are going to get that product from you or it should be a pain relieving product for them so these are the two kind of uh, products or the services that customer will prefer you need to know what kind of product or service that you're going to give and you need to determine the potential demand that is there in the market so this you can do by you know conducting a research or a survey uh and also seeing um you know going through a lot of uh data as well you can see what the potential demand is there for your product or your service in the market secondly once you know that there is a demand then you identify the potential customers and as well as competitors so only if you uh, identify your potential customers can you go and you know uh, make your marketing pitch uh, you know very focused towards those customers because even uh, age group wise or gender wise or nationality wise so all of these uh, will differ for every product and service and the way you market it to them will also differ so you need to first identify your potential customers as well as your competitors you need to be aware about what are your comp- what is your competition how many people are already in this field are they succeeding or is there a lacuna that they have are there any opportunities that you can take up so all of this research should also be done from your side before you become an entrepreneur thirdly this all of this is going to help in determining determining the feasibility of your business idea so that is the importance of conducting a market research itself if at all you do not you feel that after conducting a market research your product or uh, you know your service is not you know in demand uh you know in a great demand or it is already being serviced by a lot of people out there then you can modify it according to the demand in the market or you can go ahead and you know revisit the sixth point that is you can identify your focus again right so that is how important conducting a market research is now after the seventh point the eighth that i have for all of you is to develop a business plan and pitch that is once you have your idea and plan 
case, once you have done your market research, then the third thing that you have to do is you need to develop a business plan and a business pitch as well. The pitch that you're going to give to you know for investors for grants or to get loans right so obviously you need to secure funding for your future for your venture so that is the uh, basic idea behind developing a pitch so uh, developing a business plan will not only help in getting you secure funding but also for you to forecast about what you're going to do and how is it going to help the customers so that uh, so developing a business plan is very important for you is the fundamental uh, thing to do before even you start uh, your business but creating a pitch is important for you to get you know, for seeking out for investors, grants and loans for the funds that's required for your venture. So this will help in getting your business off the ground. To start off your business, this particular pitch is very much necessary. Even after you start the business, at any point in time, uh, you can uh, revisit your pitch and, uh, you know, develop it again for getting your second or the third round of funding as well. So that is also something that you can do. Then the ninth point that I have for all of you is build a team of skilled professionals. So it's not just important for you to have an idea, but to implement these ideas on the ground, you need to have a team, a team of skilled professionals professionals so they could be scientists or engineers who are on the technical side of your idea and they could also be business development professionals and other experts as well who can be in the sidelines that is who will be aiding the professionals do their job so yes these are the different kind of people or different kind of professionals who are necessary for you to uh, you know take up to build a team and you should make sure that your team is quite motivated and they are skilled so that you and you as a team can uh, you know attain the vision that you have so that's the ninth point the tenth and the last point that i have for all of you is to stay update on the latest developments that's happening in your field now why is this important because this, this is important for you to help in staying competitive right because there are a lot of research a lot of um, you know developments happening and for you to stay competitive you need to be up to date and you need to adapt those changes as well so this will also help in positioning your venture well and once you have such a good position then you can grab grab any new opportunities as they come up and this will be very useful to grow your venture to the next level right so these are the 10 important things that i had to discuss with all of you if you are going to become an entrepreneur scientist in biotechnology i'm sure it was super helpful and i Wish you all the very best for your future career as an entrepreneur. If you have any more points or if you have any doubts, let us know in the comment section below. We are very happy to know your insights. Thank you so much and see you all until next video.